What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shar. Come here with me. Come here with me. Yes, honey, you get the picture. Listen, today we're going to have a conversation where two people can communicate. There must be a messenger and there must be a receiver. This is not a chat for children, so if you are a child, you probably should exit stage left. Last but not least, listen, everything on this channel is a ledge and enter at your own risk. All right. Listen, today we're going to have a conversation about Mr. Marceau and Letitia. They done rung the doorbell again and somebody answered and said, look, sis, I think you wrong as hell. All right. And Letitia responded and says, I can take that. Shout out to Ebony, the best for the tea with this interview, honey. I just didn't have the energy or the time to play it. But if you guys want to hear the whole interview, go ahead over there. And she has the video there. But I'll just talk briefly on the things that they said during this interview that struck a nerve in my soul. OK, so basically. Uh, we'll go from the back until forward, okay? So at the end of that clip that Ebony has over there, it talks about how Letitia, uh, the interviewer or one of the panelists, it looks like, is talking to Tisha and they're tell asking Tisha, like, yo, what's the deal with your mom? You feel what I'm saying? Like, how do you how are you handling your mom's situation? And if you're wrong as hell, because your mom should know better. It's like straight out disrespect. You know what I mean? She says, my mom is in the audience. And if my mama ever, 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 ever try something like that, it's a no gun. I will definitely defend my husband. And not only I would tell my mom was morally correct. All right. And I can dig it. All right. Because you, here's the thing. That's your mom and this is your husband. But there should be some type, you know, some type of a deal breaker, basically, that your mom, no, uh-uh, we're not going to do that. Now, if he was hurting you or harming you in some kind of way, of course, all moms will jump in there and defend their child as you rightfully should right but that's not the case here you just your mom is too invested and she calls that thing out and Letitia says I can take that but that's my mom right what do you want me to do with my mom you know sometimes I try to talk to my mom I even try to draw uh different types of um conclusions for her and I tell my mom look you stay over there for a little while he stay over here for a little while because sometimes he pick on her too he does clown around a lot but here's the thing you if your mom understands your boundaries your mom shouldn't be doing the certain things that she do but not only that Marceau knows how to push her button he because he one knows that <clears throat> Tisha not going to do nothing to him even if he is wrong Tisha's not going to do nothing to him she's going to definitely take it back to Miss Wanda so he just want to make an example like Wanda you could never all right so I definitely see what he's trying to do also but for her to talk about I try I try to do it with my mom I just don't know what to do because that is my mother yes that is your mother you can just be a hundred with your mom and say mom back the hell off you don't I don't need you over here okay when I need you I'll come get you until then this is my husband He's the man, I'm the woman, and we running this thing back to hell up. But you just refuse to do that. I don't know what it is. Maybe you should go get some counseling for that. But moving right along, Marceau jumps in and say, listen, let's just be very clear. I could stop this thing if I wanted to. I just choose not to. Actually, basically what he was saying was I enjoy it. Okay, so he says that he's running things, in my opinion, and he says I could stop it. Don't be fooled. I got all the control, all the power in my hands. And when I say jump, they say how high. Listen, it's all allegedly in my opinion, but that's the hell what he was saying when he said I choose not to stop it, but I definitely can stop it, and I will if I need to. All right, so he makes that clear. But another thing that he said that really, really, um, we talked about the 80% versus the 20%, and he says, you know, people always want to, uh, you know, talk about how do you leave 80% for 20%. He was like, you know, of course. He was like, you know, 20% is just as important as 80%. Now I'm wondering where he's going with these percentages, and we all can make our own conclusion, but we're going to call a thing a thing, an ace, ace, and a spade, a spade. He's definitely talking about the Martell with saying that Melody is um, 85% and Cold Saul is 15% uh, or Ariana is Cold um, 15%. So that's definitely where he's getting these percentages from. But when he talks about 80 and 20, he's basically saying, I don't mind leaving my 80 if my um, 20 got it going on. If my 20 has everything I need in the bag, I'm definitely going to go with my 20. He says he's sick and tired of, you know, women saying, they tired for sex or you know he's like we're not talking about life and death situation we're talking about in a regular situation where you're too tired to have sex hey, that's a deal breaker for him you know he was like you know sex is very important okay it's very important and the word that he used was 
outsource. He says the sex is essential, okay? He was like, if you don't believe me, check the outsources, okay? And the whole crowd went, what? Shut the hell up. Yep, that's what he says, all right? But one of the other things they talk about is the criticism of bloggers. Um, and they talk about how, you know, the foundation, it created a stronger bond for them. It made them stronger. It's us against the wall. The sad part is that I could believe that's what you guys think, that everybody is against you guys. And that's what really blind Tisha. He uses that tactic, baby. It's, it's us against them. You know, you know, they all hating on me. You know, I ain't never do none of this stuff. I ain't take no vacation to Africa with nobody. I ain't dating nobody else. I ain't do this. I ain't do that. Baby, it's us against the world. And Tisha eats that up because she really wants that foundation. Unfortunately, it's not there, but she's sadly mistaken if she thinks that it is, in my opinion. All right. So he knows that she is eating that thing up, honey. She is chewing it up and spitting it out. All right. So she, he knows that that's the kind of tension that she yarns for attention that she yarns for and he is giving it to her for a throttle it made us stronger you know forget the critics you know baby they, they, they just don't like us you know they don't want to see us grow and it made us who are who we are today and here's the thing look Aren't you the one that's trying to cut her out of the build, um, the million dollar business that she's talking about? The one she done built up for you, but you saying y'all foundation is it made y'all stronger. If it made y'all that stronger, you would have went to your wife first and not the outsources to talk about the things that she don't know nothing about. But listen, I digress. I think I said enough. I think this video is long enough. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Turn your notification on. Hit the like button and subscribe. Bye.